In this problem, we're supposed to multiply vertically. So what you're trying to see here is that when you multiply polynomials, it's very similar to multiplying numbers. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to highlight the digit or the terms in this polynomial, the digits in this number over here. All right. So if you're stuck on what we do here with polynomials, think about what do you do here with numbers. So if I multiply 43 times 12, I multiply first three times two. So over here, that would be the negative 11 times the positive 1. All right, and then back in here, what do we do after we multiply 3 times 2? We multiply 2 times 4 diagonally. You get 8. So here, same thing. I'm going to multiply the 1 and the 6x. All right, I get the 6x. Now, over here, back to the other number. Once I've multiplied the 2 by 4, when I switch to the 1, I, I adjust, and I put the number down here below the 8. So 1 times 3 is 3 and I put that below the 8. So over here same thing the 2x times the negative 11 we're going to put that below the 6x now. So 2x times negative 11 is negative 22x. Alright and then back over here 1 times 4 will go in front of the 3. So 1 times 4 is 4. We'll put that in front of the 3. And then over here it's 2x times 6x. So 2 times 6 is 12x times x is x squared. So 12x squared. Alright and then what do you do with these numbers once you multiply them all out? You Add vertically, so you just put a six down here. The eight and the three gets added together. Carry your one, and you add eight and three is eleven. So I put a one down there. Carry the one. One and four is five. So there's my answer to this one. Well, the same thing happens over here. I just bring this down. This negative eleven. And then now these are like terms, so I can combine them. Six and negative twenty-two combined to negative sixteen x. The only difference is we don't have to carry ones like we did over here. So we got a 16, two digits, that's fine. It's just the number in front of x. And then we just bring the 12x squared down. All right, and then we got an x squared term, we got an x term, we got a constant term. Can't do anything more with that. So there's our answer 12x squared minus 16x minus 11. All right, and we did the same thing here to get this that we did here to get this. So when you see multiply vertically, it's just having you take the left to right multiplication, right? At up and down and just treat it and do it as if you would regular numbers.